The NBA three-pointer can be as exciting as a dunk. It lights up a crowd seeing a player throw up a bomb from deep. It wasn't always like that though, and it took a few decades to get where we are now. What's good guys? Welcome to the Killer Crossover, and today you'll learn the history of the NBA three-pointer and how it changed the game. The three-pointer was actually implemented in the ABA in the late 60s before it was used in the NBA. ABA Commissioner George Mikan believed that the three-pointer would give the smaller player a chance to score and open up the defense to make the game more enjoyable for the fans. The NBA later adopted the three-point line at the start of the 1979-1980 season. Of course, with anything new that changes how the game basketball is played, it became a controversy. When the three-point line was first introduced, the players and coaches thought of it as a gimmick and considered three points as circuit shots. Coach Red Auerbach believed that the three-point line was unnecessary and the game needed to be left alone. If only he saw what the game was like now. The three-pointer wasn't big back then and players definitely had to adjust from shooting farther away. It was really only used in desperation situations, totally different from today's game. In the first year of the three-pointer, teams only averaged 2.8 three-pointers per game and only five players made at least 50 for the season. Chris Ford, the player who made the first NBA three-pointer, and Larry Bird were the only two players with at least 100 attempts to shoot 40% from deep. Like I said, not very popular. For comparison, in the current 2018-2019 season, James Harden has attempted over 700 three-pointers. The team that shot the most threes in the 79-80 season, the Clippers, shot 643. Yes, James Harden shot more threes this year than the entire team for their whole season, and it's only February. Times has definitely changed. Now let's go to the 90s. During this time, the NBA decided that it wanted to make a change to the three-point line to increase scoring. In the 1994-95 season, the NBA shortened the overall distance of the line to a uniform 22 feet around the basket instead of the current shape that we're accustomed to. The number of three-point attempts went up and it looked like the change may have worked, but unfortunately, it failed. The scoring averages were actually getting worse. Defenses were getting better and better. Players were getting more skilled and were able to shut the three-pointer down. Because the three-point line was shorter, it created less space for the offense to work in. After three years, the three-point line was returned to its original 23 feet and nine inches and has not been touched since. Going back proved to be no problem as we've seen people that can pull up from a few feet behind the line with no issue. There are many players that have made the three so popular, we know them almost solely for their aspect of the game. Players like Steph Curry, Ray Allen, Dennis Scott, Kyle Korver, Klay Thompson, and many more are absolutely deadly from three and showed us how exciting it is to watch them catch fire from deep. With players increasing ability to shoot threes farther and farther away from the arc while still being accurate, defenses have to be creative and find new ways to try to stop it. As time went on, teams adjusted more and more to shooting the three-pointer and now we see them as the main threat in today's game. It's even gotten to the point where big men, who are just required to get boards and be a presence in the paint, aren't as valuable as others if they can't shoot threes. The NBA has gone from under five three-point attempts to a game to over 20, with no signs of slowing down. Players are getting better and better at shooting farther away, and the game is constantly changing because of it. I'll leave you guys with a question. Do you ever think there will be a four-point line? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.